Hey there, golfers. Drew Behold of Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, uh, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing, and today we're at Encinitas Ranch at the Cobra Tour Fitting Experience. We've got a chance to check out Cobra Speed Zone drivers and fairway woods. Uh, and now, Thomas, I think the big thing really uh, is that there's more options with Cobra this year. Uh, two driver models in the Speed Zone and then three fairway wood models. So we got a chance to hit all three of the fairways and all two of the drivers. Uh, and I really liked uh, really the performance out of all the models. Uh, I think really the big for Cobra is the extreme driver offering that forgiveness, which I don't know if they quite had that in F9 in terms of the options. Uh, so I really like the extreme model. I know you got a chance to hit that and also get fit kind of for uh, the speed zone. Yeah, so the touching on the extreme model, I think it's great that now Cobra has that high MOI driver now in line. So a player that you know maybe needs a little more help hitting the middle of the club face, get that ball up in the air, get fly a little bit further. It's a great option. And I think it's great that now Cobra have those two different heads instead of kind of have him tied into one. Yeah. Um, I got a chance to kind of get fit a little bit here and kind of test, you know, a couple of different uh, loft, lofts out, shafts out. Um, I really, really like the look of that matte black finish. Yep. I know, you know, that we have two different options with kind of the yellow and black and also the matte black. For me, that matte look black this year just looks really, really good looking yeah. down at. Yeah, I, yeah, absolutely. I agree with you 100%. Uh, I know the, the popular choice usually is kind of like glossy black, and I know uh, Cobra does have that option as well, but then the matte black with kind of the white color scheme, I, I really like that, uh, looking at a dress. And then I got a chance to hit a few shots of the Extreme model, and I was really impressed by the performance. On, I think I hit off the heel a few times, and it really still kind of flew high in the air, which is a little unique but also it carried uh, similar to really what I would expect almost out of the center of the face. I didn't lose him, uh, the distance I would expect usually off the heel, so I was really impressed by that as well. Yeah, one other thing I want to add in too, you know, you kind of almost have a third option this year because, you know, Cobra has that tour length option as well. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I got the chance to play one inch shorter and I didn't lose, my, my club speed stayed the exact same, but I actually picked up ball speed. So I was actually able to hit that ball further with a club that was slightly shorter because I was hitting the middle of the club base. And I think that's going to be really, really important going forward. As you know, a lot of tour players, they like to play a little shorter club base. They're trying to hit a little bit straighter. Yeah. Not only is it going to go straighter, but the ball speed was incredible too. So that yeah. was, that really impressed me. Absolutely. Yeah. And then as we kind of moved into the fairway was the three models there in speed zone was we're the standard speed zone. You have this tour and then the big tours. So we got a chance to hit all three. Um, and kind of they all have a different little bit of a different look at a dress kind of uh, the footprints pretty big on the big tour and then pretty small in the tour model um, different lofts in the standard as well but I think they're all rockets really I mean I noticed I was launched that thing out there usually <laughs> seemingly a lot farther than uh, I usually would with yeah speaking of rocket that big tour was a rocket yeah no it was a rocket you know yeah it's got a little bit less loft on it you know ever so slightly kind of bigger foot footprint essentially yeah. But it was going, it was going really, really far. And I think it's gonna be a great option for golfers that maybe struggle with drivers and like to play a, a fairy wood that still goes pretty, pretty far. So that's gonna be a great option going forward. Um, the other two options, we had the Tour model. It looks great, kind of that black finish just on, on top there looking down at it. Yeah. I, I hit that really, really, really solid too. Um, and, the, and then the other, you know, the Speed Zone model, was, you know, it was a, it had a, just a nice look looking down at it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I think we should also touch on the, the rails on the bottom, the split rail design, which is, uh, it, it sta not only stabilizes the sole, kind of that impact, but it also really gives you good turf interaction too, which you'll see on all three. Uh, a little bit more pronounced uh, on kind of the, the standard and the tour, uh, but it still is very effective and it's been so successful in fairy woods and hybrid for Cobra for a long time. And you could definitely tell on those off the turf shots where uh, maybe I, I know I hit a couple of very maybe chunky or maybe a little bit thin, but it still worked really well uh, with those baffling rails there. Yeah, I think in general, Cobra has hit it out of the ballpark for one of their 2020 stuff. As Thomas said, Cobra has hit it out of the park there uh, with 2020 Speed Zone products. So Thomas, uh, we had a lot of fun today. Great stuff. We uh, did. Yeah. yeah, a lot of good shots. Thanks to Cobra as well. Um, we'll catch you guys next time.